There are different reasons regarding security and efficiency why the autologous stem cells are better than the cells from other sources as other patients or placenta. Are stem cells from a young person better than the ones from an older person? The only difference with age is that there is a larger number of stem cells circulating in a young person's body than there is in an older person's. Nonetheless, the functions of the stem cells are exactly the same no matter the age. Can my stem cells still be used even if I have a condition, or is it better to use stem cells from a healthy person? Your own stem cells can be used 95% of the time, even if you have an illness. Generally speaking, a disease is specific to an organ or a system in the body. Illnesses are triggered based on genetics and ambience in combination with your immunological system. Having a disease does not mean your source of stem cells is not good. Same patient stem cells are better than other person's cells because they are effective and they are genetically compatible. There's no risk of rejection, no risk of getting any latent diseases, even though that third person hasn't shown any symptoms of a disease. Do stem cells from another person work the same way as stem cells from my own body? They do not act the same. Stem cells recognize the genetics of the body from which they come, and they are less effective in another body. More compatibility means more integration into your body and more efficacy, therefore more regenerative power. Also, if you use third-party cells, they have to be processed, which can damage the stem cells a lot or even kill them. After manipulation, centrifugation and cryopreservation, few remain active. This is why some doctors recommend infusing hundreds of millions of cells, getting enough active cells even if they have to deal with the unfortunate side effects of the body's reaction to damaged or dead cells. Do therapeutical infusions of my own stem cells have the same content as the ones from another person? They do not have the same content. These infusions of your own bone marrow have hematopoietic and mesenchymal stem cells as well as stimulant factors and growth factor, which all combined are the necessary tools for tissue regeneration. If you use third-party stem cells, the regenerative function is not so efficient because the infusion only contains one type of stem cells. Those cells are different genetically to the body and there are minimum growth factors and stimulant factors available. An analogy would be helpful. Imagine there's a football team where players train in their own field, where they have known each other since they were kids, and they know exactly how to communicate and know everything about each other. They also know every imperfection in their field, they have had the same trainers and the same routine. These players are autologous stem cells, and their field is your body. Now let's put a new player in this team. This is an allergenic stem cell to which the game rules have been explained while receiving similar training and in a similar field. What could be our expectation? How is this new player going to play with the team? Will he be able to communicate? Will he be able to use the same tools as the rest? Will he be efficient? What if you add many more new players with the same disconnection? If these cells manage to survive, most likely they will have a very long time and a lot of effort to integrate. They won't be efficient, and if the terrain conditions change, just like a sick body does, it would be very hard for them to function. This is why progen cells prefer to use autologous stem cells. This is very safe and highly effective.